Hello guys and welcome to the weekly asset roundup with me, Pug Gain. And in this week's edition we have schools. We have schools. And we have more schools. Oh, and a fancy train. It can only mean one thing guys. Let's do this. And to kick off this week's show we have the utility outbuildings by Spence. Now these buildings are perfect for your industrial zones and the two different variations will work well in any city. I love the detail, the attention to detail on these roofs with the moss is fantastic. A great little asset to add into your city. Up next we have Ronix with this Japanese high school. As always for Ronix, the buildings are very highly detailed and of a larger scale and in my opinion the previous schools and certainly the vanilla schools have never really been up to satisfactory in terms of the size and sort of modelling itself so this is a great addition to add into your big city. Sticking with the school theme we have this European primary school from Nicolage. This model in particular certainly reminds me of a sort of a boarding school or some sort of a private school the way it's been built and I love the fact they've included this uh, sort of outside area as well. It really does look good and the combination of a couple of buildings together really do set this model apart. And despite it being quite a big build you've still got the ability to build yourself a nice playing area etc around it. Up next we have the Mexican Grill by Best Korea and it seems that my shout out a few weeks back about the lack of very nice restaurants is certainly, certainly coming to life now. We are having a great deal of fantastic models and this is one that I love to use in my city. Up next we have the floating water toy by Mick Crosshill and I'm sure you've seen these before on your holidays, it's basically an inflatable slide, a great quirky little asset to add into your holiday resort. But not only has Mick released this this week but he's been very busy and also released a key set. Now these are sensational, I think there's um, six different types here which you can add together to make whatever you want in terms of a a nice little front to your harbour or even to your seaside. And up next we have the very recognisable Stockholm City Hall by Gonaka Sui. Now I am a huge fan of people replicating these Ionic City buildings and this one certainly is one of the top ones, fantastic levels of detail and my favourite part about the whole model is the nighttime view, look how fantastic this looks, a fantastic model we look forward to plenty more. And I told you it was all about schools this week and Furious has done this elementary high school. So again, another lovely large school building. All three of the ones reviewed this week are sensational. Each have their own characteristics and would suit certain areas a little bit better than the others. But we are definitely, definitely very blessed this week with some beautiful schools, a fantastic, fantastic model. Up next we have Hike with this residential Rico building. This model really caught my eye in the workshop and I really love the different combination of colours. It gives that contemporary feel but also it still feels quite modern in that sense. And the design with the angles etc is very unique but in particular I do love the nighttime view. I really do enjoy people putting effort into these. Talking of needs we have another bridge, this time by Big Cat. So you will have to add your own roads and also a rail I believe fits in between the two. But a fantastic model to have between your two islands. Another asset this week from Furious is this residential complex set. So this includes a number of different items which you can add together to create this beautiful landscape. Up next we have Crystalisto with the Chick-fil-A. 
Now this is not somewhere I'm used to, it's uh, based in Atlanta, Georgia, but it's a place that I believe sells chicken sandwiches. But anyway, back to the model, fantastic modeling. I love the brickwork on the outside. And again, we have another beautiful restaurant to add to our cities. And up next, we have Daft with the Spring Arcade. So this model very much shouts out America to me. You have an arcade in the bottom of the building where you can have your shops, etc., and apartments on top. Los Gecko is up next with his Lubeck Contemporary Corner Shops. This comes as a pack of two, so you have a four story level two and a five story level three building. Very contemporary, I love the detail on this, the brickwork, everything, it really just works. Next up, Sven Berling brings us the Rapid Ride Bus Shelter. You'll find this in the region of Seattle, but well, you can put bus shelters anywhere and this is quite a unique design, very fancy, a great asset. If you're anything like me, I love watching trains go by and with the P3010 by Tim the Terrible I could watch this go round and round forever. I love this model, it's a great one to add into your US city. And to celebrate one year of fantastic asset making, Ronix has released this fantastic model. And I'm not going to make myself look even more silly by trying to pronounce it, because I don't know how. But, in summary, a big, big shout out to Ronix. And, well, his contribution to the game has been sensational. One of the top contributors, in my opinion. Keep up the great work, and we all thank you. So guys, that brings us to the end of this week's Asset Roundup. As always, please leave your comments below. Let the creators know your thoughts on their models and give inspiration for new ideas and what you'd like to see next on the workshop. But as for me, thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like the video if you did so. Until next time, all the best.